pensiunea asta și herfan. Power, 22 years old, and I'm an automotive photographer and the creator of Cars and Coffee Alba Iulia. Vreau să vă simțiți bine la primul eveniment auto din Alba Iulia, primul eveniment auto de dimensiunea asta. The story with uh, the car event started since I was a child and with the passion for the cars, actually, started since I was a kid and I guess everything started because of my father. With uh, car photography, everything started in 2021. Uh, after the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, I was like, you know, I gotta do something for myself. I gotta do something. So I dropped everything I knew about photography, like events photography and so on. And I tried something new. I tried uh, automotive uh, photography. I was lucky to have a few friends in my hometown, Alba Iulia, uh, with some pretty good cars and they were like, bro, you want to do some photo photos? And I was like, mm, okay, we could try, but I'm not, I don't have any experience on this. Uh, but I did it, like, I uh, didn't hesitate at all. So, it started like, some basic stuff before the shootings I was actually looking on YouTube and so on to see some angles, some colors, some, I don't know, everything that I could uh, get from there. The last autumn I was like, you know what, in my hometown never ever happened a car show and so on and I was like, I gotta do it. I gotta do something for the community and I gotta do something for my hometown. I wanna bring this culture in my hometown. I was, uh, I was pretty confident at, at the beginning and everything happened in my head. And I was like, you know what, I can do this. I was about to give up on this, on this dream, because uh, the event was a dream for me. But I have to think until morning to see if this will happen or not. And at the next morning, I was at uh, my job, sitting on my desk, and I was like, you know what? I will do it. I got a phone. The things, the first thing I did was to was to call at a coffee shop at five to go and I was like yeah when I, I want to do a car show when I want to call it cars and coffee and we need coffee are you in and uh, they were like yeah sure let's do it and the second thing I was okay I have the coffee I have the idea now I need cars and I did the same thing I got my phone, I started to send messages on Instagram, Facebook and whatsoever to friends that I know from, from our country with cool cars. Uh, and everyone was like, whoa, that sounds cool. I, I'll be there. And after a few, few days or something, I realized that I need a team. I can't do it all by myself, so I choose to work with uh, 
three of my best friends, Raul, Eddie and Paul. Uh, I called everyone and I was like, guys, I need to see you as soon as possible. I have an idea and you will like it. Everyone was like, whoa, okay, that's pretty cool. So we should do it. And it all started with some phones uh, at the council called, we called the mayor. We had an audition to say like that with the guys and they were like, whoa, that's something unusual. Uh, especially because it was in the middle of our citadel, which is the largest citadel in uh, Eastern Europe. And everybody was like, we should do it because it's something new. It never happened in our, ta in our town. So it could bring some, some attention to our town. surprise for me and I was pretty excited about how it happened at all and the cars we had there were like dream cars I was watching those cars on YouTube on Instagram Facebook and whatsoever and I was like god damn I have them in front of my eyes I literally have them inside my event like I don't know M4s M8 Lambos, Porsches, and stuff like that. Like, my dream cars was, were there inside my event. We have cars, we have fast cars, we have beautiful cars, but let's go to safety. And with our, uh, with the help of our, of our friends, Silvio Toma and Radu Aricu, uh, which are from uh, Romania Driving Experience, we managed to have a theoretical, uh, defensive driving course and us and them were pretty we were pretty surprised because we didn't expect to have something like 100 people there inside that uh, inside that hole that happened uh, and they were like boy you did something great The idea of cars and coffee never happened in Romania as long as I know. Uh, we created basically the first cars and coffee in Romania, let's say, at this, uh, at this level. Where do I see the event in upcoming years? Well, I wanted to become a, to become some kind of Romanian version of the Vortex. Like, uh, I wanna fill the entire citadel with cars. Like everywhere you go, you see cars, and I wanna have corners like I don't know off-road, exotics, tuners, stands, bagged, static, and whatsoever. Everything, everybody to have its own corner. My dream is to make this event a festival like I want to go out in that weekend in that week actually to have make it for I don't know three four five six days to go inside in the city like to walk around and actually see the cars from my event there actually the first car that mm, I had was this car it's a 206 uh, Peugeot uh, made in 2002 it has a 1.4 1, 1 uh, liters diesel engine yeah it's not so fast but it has uh, some kind of uh, basically 
part, big part of my childhood was around this car because we got it when I was seven years old and uh, we went everywhere in this country with this car. And we have a lot of memories. I have a lot of memories with my parents and around the country with this car. Uh, and actually, I, I thought, I don't know, this year and the last year, I was like, you know what, I, wanted, I want something new, I want another car, and I think I will sell it. But um, after thinking twice, I couldn't do it. Like, I'm so attached emotionally to this car that I think this car will die near me. Like, I will never sell it. It's not a, I don't know, fast car. It's not a good looking car. Like, it's stock and so on. But I have a lot of memories with it. And this granny, let's say like that, uh, is part of my life. And I cannot, uh, I cannot uh, throw the memories away. Next year will be, let's say, more... It will be more exciting on this, uh, on this part because uh, I hope I will, will, I will be able to buy an E36 which will be actually transformed uh, as a DTM car because the, those cars, though, that competition actually was part of my childhood because I remember even this day I had uh, some kind of video game which I played on my dad's laptop where every car was a DTM and I liked the BMW so much that even nowadays I want to have one of those cars and drive one of those cars and I actually I want to get out of my house take the keys and in front of my house in front of my home to have three cars of police <laughs> uh, <laughs> one of the cars that I like so much and I know that I cannot afford them I afford it for now was the BMW M4, the first generation. I remember that I saw it on 2013, I guess, when it was just a render on the Facebook of, uh, on the Facebook profile of BMW. And I liked it so much and I dreamed about it so bad that uh, I had the pleasure to be able to drive it and photograph it. And again, it was a childhood, let's say, like that more teenage dream that uh, became real. And I and I'm really happy with it because this part of uh, this part of passion, the part with the automotive photography, gives me the opportunity to drive a lot of cars, like the cars that I dreamed about when I was a kid. Uh, the newest cars that are actually that have been launched like a few months ago. Uh, let's say it happened twice. This type of thing first time happened last year when I shoot the Volkswagen ID4, and the second time happened this year, one month ago, when I drove the uh, Renault Megane E-Tech. What would I suggest to someone who wants to get in this kind of thing? Well, nowadays we, you can do it even with your phone. The phones nowadays are pretty much, pretty much that advanced that could uh, replace more or less, uh, I don't know, a photography camera and so on. Just do it, like, don't be afraid. Trust yourself, and the most important thing, work on yourself, work on the photos you make, work on everything. Don't be afraid to, to 
try new things. Don't be afraid to give up on things, material things, I don't know, or time or whatsoever, because you will make it. At some point you will make it. Faster or later you will make it. Just simply do it.